What I have here is a question asked by a parent. Let's read it. Lately, I've been stressed with a lot of things. My friends suggest me to spend some time on drawing. They say it, it is therapeutic. But the thing is, I don't like to draw. Can drawing be therapeutic for me? Hmm, parents, will that answer? Definitely, it can be therapeutic. It doesn't work for me because I can't draw. Hmm, so one said yes and one said no. So, let's discuss about it. Hi, I'm Shawin from Dr. Anywhere. And today, we are discussing on drawing, whether it's a form of therapy or not. Joining me today is Mr. Shah and Miss Nadia. Drawing is something that we do since young. There's a reason why children love drawing. Drawing is a medium of expression. It's a coping mechanism for some people to promote healing. In therapeutic drawing, or also known as art therapy, it helps to um, provide a non-verbal way to express our emotions, experiences, and also our thoughts, especially for those people who experience trauma. The goal of therapeutic drawing is to utilize creative um, process to help us to explore our inner self. And by doing so, it helps us to gain a personal insight and as well as to cope with our stress by shifting our attention away from the concerns and also worries that we have. The good thing about therapeutic drawing is it can be done individually or in group setting. And most importantly, it doesn't require any artistical skills or talent. So, let's do this activity together. Let's go. Okay, in this activity, what I want you all to do is to draw a large circle on the blank piece of paper and fill in all the images, symbols, colors, shapes, or any patterns that you want inside the circle which represent what you are grateful for. Like for example, maybe you want to include your family, friends, or even pets, or anything that matters to you, such as your own health. So, um, let's begin. Okay, sure. Let's do it. So, large circle, which I know it's not going to be a circle anyways. <laughs> Why is my circle bigger than yours? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, things that I'm grateful for. Mm. The colour green. I'm grateful for the colour green. I hope not being sarcastic or something like that. So, it doesn't need to be anything. It can be anything under the sun. Like, if whatever yeah, I feel like it. It can be okay. anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I suck at doing hair. Suck at doing hair? Yeah, I suck at doing hair. Let me look at that. <laughs> it sucks. I can put on some Dragon Ball eyes and that's pretty much it. It's like... What 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 are Dragon Ball? <laughs> no, okay. Basically, it's like two, two triangles meeting together. Considering the guy just died, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now that you have finished your drawing, now let's show your drawings to the camera. I have no idea what I just drew, but I'm actually quite happy drawing it, <laughs> to be honest. Mm, I can see that there are a few aspects yeah, that yeah, you draw. That yeah. um, Perhaps these are some aspects that you feel grateful for in mm. your life. And what about Miss uh, Nadia? Um, so basically, the yellow bit is um, our house because we have a yellow house. Um, and then uh, this is basically our family. That would be me. Typically pink. Um, <laughs> these are our two boys. So um, the younger one is bigger, well, chubbier than the other one, <laughs> than the older one. And then this is my husband who is purple. Mm -hmm. um, I guess this is a bunga raya. Because suddenly I feel grateful being in Malaysia. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, thanks for your sharing. Mm. So how do both of you feel after this um, exercise? Definitely relax a lot better. I definitely, yeah, you're right. I do feel quite grateful for myself. I'm guessing this is what I do about myself anyways. <laughs> um, I think for me, because I used to do this a long, long time ago, um, ah. I actually draw um, in my journals. Mm, but yeah. ever since having those two little boys running around, um, that's sort of like, Taken aback. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice doing it again. The circle that you draw is a symbol of wholeness and completion. Mm. So um, it helps you to focus on your inner self and it helps you to explore your strengths as well as to be happy and grateful for what you have in your life. Mm. Mm. So uh, sometimes uh, mental health experts do incorporate um, therapeutic drawing in the psychotherapy sessions to treat mental disorders. Um, well done, guys. So you. do you all agree if I say that 
um, drawing is therapeutic. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Let's start to practice it as a habit, start from today. <laughs>